my channel today I have for you a gigantic Nordstrom haul. I was so excited when my husband was so nice to me and took me shopping and let me go a little overboard but he's very supportive. <laughs> um, this is my second time filming it though so I hope I don't forget anything and if things are out of boxes it's only because I put it all away thinking I was done before I checked the video and noticed that it was all blurry. So, please bear with me. Um, I've never been really a Nordstrom shopper before, um, but now that they have all the high-end brands, it definitely does make it easier to go in there and shop kind of a wide selection of things without having to go all over the store for it. So, um, I went to Dior, Philosophy, um, Dr. Gross, NARS, MAC, Bobbi Brown, um, Clinique, and a couple other here's and there's. So let's get started because it is a lot and I'm hoping that you stick with me. So one of the first things I got to was Clinique. Um, I went on a day where they were having specials going on and stuff. So they had this beautiful little coral box, which I love, love, love coral, um, full of goodies. And then they also had a free goodie bag when you bought these goodies. So let me show you first what was in this box. The first thing that this box came with was this makeup bag. It's just a coral bag with um, some orange detailing on the outside. It's a pretty good size bag. So everything that came in that bag is... First is Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. Um, they call it a mask, but it also says that you can wear under your makeup. So whenever you're really dry, if you don't want to wear it all day under your makeup, I would say use this as a mask and then wipe it off. But if you are really dry, you might want to try this as an all-day moisturizer because it can be used as both. So that was included in it. And then also included in it was a chubby stick, which I actually don't have any chubby sticks. So I was really excited to get a Clinique chubby stick. This one is Intense Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. And it is in Plushest Punch number 5. Let me just give a swatch for you. And it is gorgeous. It's like a berry, but pinker. It's kind of not as... It's a cool tone berry. There we go. It's definitely a little bit more pink and like hot pink than it is towards the reds. So I was really, really excited to see that. And then also it came with a full-size mascara. Full-size, people. Mascara of the High Impact Mascara in black number one. Looks just like this. I'm not going to open it yet because I have so many. But I will be reviewing it later. Promise. And then it also came with this little itty bitty nail polish. It's like a true, true pale baby pink. The color on here says, actually it doesn't say, sorry. It just says a different nail enamel. So, but it is a very pretty pink. And let me just show you because a lot of people like the drip test. So it doesn't drip off right away, but it is definitely a clear kind of polish. So it might even take you three coats. I haven't tried it yet myself, but it is definitely one of those ones that, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't have a ton of um, pigment to it because it's so fine and clear looking. It might take a couple of times to dry in between. And then the last thing that it came with, and then the last thing that it came with is this really cute, very easily fingerprinted <laughs> um, eyeshadow palette. So it's really cute. This is actually good enough to be a mirror. Let's see if I look okay. <laughs> um, so sorry if I'm blinding you, but it's really cute. I really like it. And the back is just like an acrylic see through. It does show you on the mirror if you want to do an eye look, which one to use. And then it does have, a, so it has a matte cream, a satin pink, a shimmery gold, sorry I missed a finger, and then a shimmery brown. So 
So I think you can create some really pretty looks with these colors. Um, definitely not colors that I would have thought to put together, but I think it would end up looking really pretty. And I'm really, really loving the look of this pink. Um, the dark color is Olive My Martini. Olive in My Martini, sorry. The gold one is called At Dusk, which it's kind of like a copper. I'm sorry, I think I said gold. I meant copper, sorry. A copper color. The pink is blushed. And then the French vanilla, or the white is French vanilla. So this is a perfect matte transition shade, brow bone shade, anything else that you'd like to do. Let me put it on my arm for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So there are the shades for you there. And you can see they are super duper pigmented. I really, really like the pink. The pink is just like, it's a different kind of pink. Um, these shades, I haven't tried them yet on my eyes, so I can't tell you what that's going to be like. But I can tell you just by swatching them, they are really, really soft and buttery. Like really smooth and buttery. I was actually really surprised. But I've never tried any Clinique shadows. You know when you were little, um, well depending on how old you are. Clinique was really popular with like my mom. Everybody had, um, this is one of the things coming up so I'll show you, but everybody had this kind of um, mint green. Uh, some of them had the, the pearlized, or I'm um, sorry, marbleized green. Uh, but everybody that had Clinique, this is all what it looked like. So now it's a little bit different, but they still have some that are with it. So the next thing that they have is um, all the free goodies. I was actually surprised how big the bag was of the free goodies. Is this eyeshadow palette, just a cute tiny little palette, just opens like that, mirror inside. It has just a few of the purples. This is a dark purple, again, very smooth. This is number one, going steady, and it has three shades in it. So if you like these shades, you can get them in a full palette, I'm assuming, of Going Steady, or maybe they have another smaller one. There's the shades for you, so a dark plum purple, a uh, purple that's kind of like uh, lavender, but very shimmery, and then it also has a very pale um, pink tone. It doesn't, it looks like it should be like a lilac or something, but to me it's more on the pink side. So there's those. And then it also came with this lipstick. This is Raspberry Glace. So I'll show that to you. It actually looks really dark, right? Looks like a full, and this is full size. It looks like a really, you know, raspberry kind of color. It looks like it would, you know, be maroon on your lips. It's actually like this beautiful, um, it's kind of sheer. But it's like this really pretty pink. It's like your lips, but better, but just a little bit more on the mauvey pink side. So I really, really think that that's just gorgeous and pretty. And I wouldn't have expected that from the color. And I am so excited to try this actually because, as you, I don't know if you know, but a lot of people say that uh, the first signs of aging is your hands. You know, the back of your hands, nobody thinks to put sunscreen on them. They're outside the most, like on the car steering wheel, outside the window, things like that. And they just get beat up because they're constantly washed and used, things like that. So this is the Clinique Even Better Dark Spot Correcting Hand Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So I was kind of excited to try this. It's a nice, cute little sample. Um, but put some sunscreen on your hands and give them a new look. I've been doing a lot of filming today, so the fan's on. I hope it doesn't bother you, the noise. But let's move to the Dior counter. So I got invited to a special event that they were having to get your makeup done. And usually, you know, you have to buy something, things like that. I didn't have to buy anything, but I decided to anyways on my own. And then I also, when I did this large shopping trip, I hit the Dior counter as well. So I'm just going to combine the two. 
But on that day, they had uh, the special event. They did your makeup and stuff. And then they had this special giveaway. It is this cute, cute black patent um, Dior bag. It just kind of magnetic closes. And it's a pretty good size, you know, for a night out and stuff. And it's cute. It says Dior. So I was really excited about that. Um, inside of it was the Capture Total One Essential uh, Cellular Intense Skin Boosting Super Serum. I desperately want this when I have the money uh, because it's about like I think like $120 um, but it's a good size and it should last you a little while of skincare. Um, I want the full size one. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. It's just so wonderful on your skin. They have another one um, that is in the same line but it actually gets rid of all the detox or the toxins in your skin from the day and helps keep them out things like that but this is really really amazing so it was just a little sample like this just the serum in there to try so I really liked getting that and then also on here is the Dior Attic Gloss now my friend on here Mallory 1712 I love and adore her she's so sweet so cute she just seems like one of those people that is genuine and you just want to be your best friend she's a believer in God and she does these Wednesday Wednesday wisdom and I love them they uplift you they make you think about your own life and it's just so great to hear from somebody else anyways she's a big Dior addict fan as well and I just can't wait to show her a picture of this cute tiny little Dior Attic Gloss. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, not even half of my finger. It is so stinking cute. But it is this um, strawberry pink color with a lot of sparkle. It's definitely more of a gloss than the lipstick ones. Um, not very pigmented. Uh, just a nice coral color with a little bit of sparkles in it. It says 643 on here. I'm not sure what that translates into a name, but it's so cute. I mean, look at it. Perfect for your purse. And then the next thing that I got from Dior in that bag was a Dior Blackout Dior Show Mascara. Now, funny thing is, is before <laughs> I got the bag and got home and what, saw what was in it, I actually bought a Blackout Dior Show Mascara. This is supposed to be the blackest of the blacks of any mascara. So kind of like Makeup Geek has the blackest of the black eyeshadow. That's what Dior claims this is going to be. So I'm excited to try this and see if it lives up to what it says. And then the last thing that I got um, with that, because my stylist lady was there, you know, when you go to Nordstrom and you get a person that constantly sees you and wants to sell to you because they get commissions. So the last thing that I got um, was just another makeup bag. It's super cute. It's plasticky. You know, it smells plasticky, but it's just cute. I like it. My girls are trying to fight me for it. Okay, so that event was over. So um, on the day when I got all this big stuff, I got the Glow Maximizer Base Light Boosting Primer from Dior. This is amazing. I heard about this from Mallory1712 as well, and I was really excited to try it because I, I have combination skin, so it can go either way. Um, sometimes when you have combination skin, it can make you look too um, glowy and glittery, and then you just look like a hot mess. Um, sometimes, though, it can just help to just give you that natural glow and make you not look so flat. Um, you know, foundation and powders and stuff, they just kind of make you look flat, take out a lot of the youthfulness in your skin. So it looks like this. It's just a nice, um, kind of like a tan pearl color. And then you smear it around. And it's not sticky or anything. It feels nice on the skin. And then, I hope you guys can tell, but you just get this beautiful golden glow. Like, it's not super sparkly. Like... You're not going to look at your face and be like, oh my gosh, heavenly sparkles. <laughs> um, it's just a nice sparkle naturally. It does look very glowy and very golden, so it doesn't look like these like silver sparkles all over your face. 
The next thing I got, like I said, I did get the Blackout Dior Show, the Dior Show Blackout Mascara, so I'm excited to try that. And then I also got another uh, Dioretic It Flash Mascara. I have the purple and the blue. And then one day I saw Mallory wearing an eye look, and everybody was asking her, what's on your bottom lashes? You know, what color is that? And she actually said it was just a mascara, and I was like, well... I need a pink mascara in my life then. Um, so I got the Dior Show, or the Dior Attic It Flash Mascara. And their packaging is so cute for all the Dior Attic stuff. The lip glosses look like this. The lipstick glosses that they launched. Um, what are they called? The, la, 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 I can't remember the name, sorry. But uh, this is just adorable. I love it. I mean... Only the Dioratic stuff has stuff like this, so it's cute. It says Dior on this side, and it's pink, pinky pink. I'm not going to open it yet, but I'll show you. You'll see it later. <laughs> um, another thing I got was the Dior Skin Forever Foundation Flawless Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup with Sunscreen. It's broad spectrum SPF 25. Again, Dior and their packaging. I mean, come on. This is like, like beauty out of a magazine, just for your foundation. It's gorgeous. It has that um, bluish pearlescent um, top that they have. It does have the CD in there, so that it's like kind of like a hologram. It has a beautiful Dior Skin uh, band, silver band around it. I got the shade 23. I hope it works. Um, my skin changes during the summer from light to a little darker back it has tonight. this nice um, frosted glass it's definitely really heavy and thick I really really just love the amount of time that he thinks about his uh, product and how he wants it designed so next I headed to the Mac counter um, I have Mac things but I'm not a huge Mac person because it just has too much of a following and it's actually really kind of expensive in my opinion um, but I do love their lipsticks and their blushes are great and I had never had the mineralized um, skin finish in soft and gentle and I kept hearing about it on here and hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it and then I swatched it and I was like oh I have to get it so this is their new packaging it's like a black matte on top and shiny on the bottom and I really am enjoying their new packaging. So it kind of has the same um, clear front, but it's a little different. And it kind of has like um, like another indentation inside the circle, if you can see it. And then it says Mac down here. And then the back is very cool, too, because it actually like sinks in. So I'm, I'm not sure if you can tell, but... It sinks in right here. It has the logo and stuff with soft and gentle. And it doesn't have an open closure part. So it's kind of yay and kind of not because it kind of goes both ways. It's nice not to have that to, you know, flip up and down and stuff. But it is kind of interesting on how to do it because you have to make sure your fingers are only on the shiny part and then lift up the black matte part. And then it does kind of close very nicely, so I don't think you'd have to worry about, you know, it opening up because it doesn't have a snap closure. But it is very, very beautiful. And the uh, plastic rim does go out throughout the whole thing. So I really, really enjoy it. If you've never seen Soft and Gentle, you're like me. You've been hiding under a rock, <laughs> waiting and waiting for it to go away, maybe. Um, let me try up here. But it's, it's worth its money. It is. It really is. It's this beautiful, um, like, very, very light rose gold color. It's just gorgeous. I mean, it has everything going for it. It's beautiful. I love it, and I'm so glad I have it. So that's that. There will be more to come from that. And then I got a powder blush, which is in the color Peony Petal. Um, I was really excited to see this. See the difference in packaging? If you don't know Max packaging. So this is flat. This just has the one little um, cheap plastic part. It says Mac in the middle. And then it has those closures like that where it snaps. 
So that they totally rehauled their entire packaging. So I was really excited to see that. But this is just a beautiful blush. It's like this gorgeous, pretty, pretty pink, like everyday color. It's not too bright. It's not shimmery. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. I really don't know how else to explain it. Um, let me try to put it over here so you can see. But it's just that beautiful, like, everyday pink. Just stands out like like a, you just got done running kind of flush to your face. So I was really excited to get that. And then I got two lipsticks. Um, the first one I got is in Hot Gossip. And that is this one. And again. Does this look like hot gossip to you? It's kind of like the Clinique thing. It does not look like what it says. It's so interesting. But it is. So let me just swatch it for you. It's a uh, cream sheen. I'm sorry, I forgot to say. It is a cream sheen. I really do like the cream sheens. They give you the gloss without too much um, stickiness because I am not a MAC lip gloss person. I don't like sticky. But it's like this very pretty pink mauve. And it looks like it could go with just everything. And it has just a beautiful shine to it, almost like a duochrome. I am loved. The next one is Pink Pearl Pop. And it's also a cream sheen. Now this looks like a pink pearl pop color. But it is just gorgeous. This one is, um, it's pigmented as well, but it's just a little bit more on the sheer side but it is definitely like your pretty girly pink it's like a barbie pink perfect way to describe it right here okay so after mac i went to bobby brown just really quick walking by the mascaras caught me because they had this big display so i got the bobby brown lash glamour extreme lengthening mascara and i got it in black number one and it just looks like this, just plain matte black packaging. It says Bobbi Brown on it. it. says the name and the black at the bottom. Again, you will see reviews to come, but I can't open it now. Um, and then from there, I went to NARS. I have several loose powders, um, pressed powders for finishing powders. I really like the Face of Australia one. Um, but I decided to go ahead and get the NARS um, Light reflecting setting powder in the loose version because I kind of figured you know the loose it's I haven't I've heard it both ways some people like the um, compact some people like the loose the pressed powder sorry and some people like the loose I I don't mind the loose at all um, it does get a little messy sometimes but I think for putting it on your skin I think it's easier to not maybe overdo it because you just kind of get to swirl it all in your brush and then you can just kind of go over your whole face with it. So I did get that. Just looks like this. A nice little case. Um, the back of it, the name, and NARS um, packaging. But this one isn't as rubberized as a lot of their other packaging. Then <laughs> I headed to um, Philosophy. But on my way there, I saw this really pretty pink um, lip gloss from Nordstrom itself actually. So it just has a black top, normal doe foot applicator, and it's just this beautiful, like, glossy, um, sheer pink, but with, like, a ton of sparkle in it. So it's just right there. Just a lot of sparkle, just really clear, just glossy. So I just picked that up. It was, like, I think, like, $5 maybe. It's like, how do you not? So, and I also, on the way over to Philosophy, saw this. Um, it's a, it looks like Fido, it really does, but it's Fido, or Fido, it looks like Fido, but I think it's Fio or Fido, one of those. Anyways, it's a color protectant, radiance mist, color treated, highlighted hair, um, Fio mist, hydrolyzed keratin, sunflower derivative, red algae leave-in spray so this is meant for anybody who colors their hair highlights their hair it's supposed to be a nice leave-in spray that protects your hair um, from sun it also helps to um, 
give it life again, moisturize it, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried it just yet, but I will review it when I do. Um, okay, so on to philosophy. Time in a bottle. I have tried a sample of this before. I loved it. It is expensive, um, but it has so many things that I'm hoping it actually does. So it says, transform your skin inside and out and at any age. Defy the appearance of all major signs of aging and help your skin appear radiant, poreless, even wrinkle-free, smooth, and firm. Inside, aging not yet visible on the surface and also visible aging on the surface. Clinically tested on women ages 25 through 55. It has all these clinical tests after four weeks. They saw 82% of visible signs of aging. Um, 95 showed a significant reduction in visible signs of aging after eight weeks. So, really excited about that. By the way, if you are 20 to 25 years old, moisturize now. Even if you're even if you're below that, moisturize now. I never took my skincare seriously until I got older, and now it's kind of damaged. You know, sun. I didn't wear my sunscreen moisturizer. Didn't think about that. But anyways, you take this little bottle um, that has the vitamin C serum in it, and then it has a little funnel that comes with it, and then you mix it into this bottle. After you shake it up, it becomes this nice pink color that you can see. Once you get down, you can kind of see, so you can get another bottle. Um, this set, I believe, was $79 together. Um, they also have one, a time in a bottle for your eyes as well. So I'll keep you up to date on how that works out. And then I also got a sample of the Eye of Hope, which is um, See the World Through New Eyes, Multitasking Eye Cream for Dark Circles, Puffiness Lines, and uh, that's it. So I'm excited to try that. That's just a nice, cute little sample. And then I also picked up a rollerball of Love Sweat. Looks like this. Cute pictures from Philosophy. Smells amazing. Let's see. It's just like this florally sweet, like very feminine smell. It just smells so good. You guys have got to go try this. And then I picked up one of my favorites, and I'm dying to get a big one, maybe for Christmas. <laughs> um, Tori Birch, her new perfume. I am in love with, looks like this, an orange container, all different sizes. Ugh, it's just like, it's like a musky smell, but it has this like certain kind of like floral. And I looked in um, the ingredients, and there's peony in there, so the only thing I could think of is that's what I'm smelling that's like that strong smell. So I got that, um, got a free philosophy bag, and then I also got the Dr. Gross Clinical Concentrate Radiance Booster Breakthrough, um, the orange serum. You can do it uh, to your face directly with your skincare, with your makeup. However, this is supposed to um, make your skin more radiant and bring the light to your skin. I heard about this from Mallory1712. Um, she got the whole set of a sample size, so I wanted to pick this up. Sorry I'm rushing, but my battery's going to die. Um, and then I also got two more mascaras. Um, I got one Dior Show Maximizer Base Mascara Lash Primer from Dior. So just, you know, your typical white primer with a brush. And then I got a Clinique High Impact Mascara in black in the mini size. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you guys enjoyed my gigantic haul. And uh, if you did, let me know down below what was your favorite. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That way you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and have a great day. Bye guys.